Hi guys, my name is Stephen Isaac. I'm a final year audio engineering student here in SAE Dubai. I am working on a short film for my major project called Campfire, which is a psychological thriller horror short film. I'm working on this project with my friend Chandramali Singh as audio engineers for this project. And uh, in this video, I'll be showing you guys all the gear that we used on the production phase. So over here, we have all the on onset gear that we used for the film. Over here, as you can see, uh, we've got the Zoom H6 handy recorder, which is an external uh, recording device uh, that we used heavily for this project. Uh, then we've got the Sony UWP21 um, lavalier, uh, lavalier mic set, uh, the, tran the, receiver, the transmitter and receiver over here. Uh, then we've got the uh, Rode Blimp shotgun mic. Um, over here, which is equipped with the Rode NTG4 Plus mic inside. Uh, and we've got the Tascam 701D um, external recorder as well. This we had kept it mainly as a backup, but uh, it's always useful having another extra recorder. Then we had our accessories, which was the lovely XLR mic cable. And uh, we have our boom pole, uh, trusty boom pole over here. So we've got the Zoom E6 handy recorder over here. It's a great tool uh, for onset recording. Uh, it's got four inputs over here. We can control the dials and the input and the preamps over here. Um, it's got multiple bitrate uh, and format uh, recordings. So you can do 24 bit, 16 bit, 44.1 recording. But for the film, we mainly, since uh, the film standard is 48, uh, 48,000 Hertz and uh, 24, 24 bit recording. So we always set to that. Uh, but like overall great tool, we can just adjust uh, adjust the levels over here. We've got extra attachments, for example, like the XY capsule as well as the mid side mid side capsule, and we can adjust the uh, preamp of it from here it's itself, and we can just control the level and monitor them right over there. Uh, so that's mainly about the Zoom H6. The reason, the main reason why we use the Zoom H6 was because it was just a great tool and it is very handy to walk around. So we would just connect. Uh, three of our lav lavalier microphones here and then we would just connect a boom pole, uh, boom mic over here and it was easy to move around with it it's very handy it's very lightweight as well so coming to the Sony UWP21 lab kit uh, we've got the uh, trans uh, transmitter here receiver here we've got the um, transmitter cable transmitter 3.5 mil to XLR male cable here. We've got the 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil so that you can connect it to your phone or, or another recording device per se. And we've got the 3.5 mil to the mic over here, uh, which you connected to the transmitter. Um, so the main reason why we use this whole, uh, the Sony UWP21 my, uh, lab kit was mainly because it was just versatile in its own right. Uh, it's pretty useful. It's pretty handy. You can cover the lav mic can be covered up easily in your shirt when the uh, when the actors are working. So there is even though there is a little bit of disturbance of clothes rubbing with each other, we do get the quality recording that we de deserve. And it's a condenser mic, so it can be powered using the Zoom uh, H6. So coming to the Tascam 701D recorder, um, this device is pretty useful. It does function the same way that that the Zoom H6 does. Uh, it's got four inputs uh, as well over here. Um, pretty useful. We can actually even connect it to the cameras that we were using on set uh, through HDMI. So it could be synced with by timecode. Uh, the main reason that we didn't actually use the Tascam 701D is because it was a bit too clunky and bulky for us to move around with since we were moving around uh, when we were doing a lot of the shots. and. That's possibly the main reason why we didn't use it, but we kept it always as a backup. So um, we could, in case uh, the Zoom runs out of batteries, we could always depend on the Tascam also. So that was the main reason why we didn't use it, but it's a great device in general. It, do, it gets the job done as well. So coming to the Rode Blimp. The Rode Blimp is equipped with the Rode NTG4 uh, shotgun mic, which is inside. It's covered with the Blimp uh, windshield the and then it's got a right cord system and it's got this uh, suspension system which avoids a lot of uh, sound pops and cracks uh, so it's a it's a lot more easier to handle by hand as well as when you screw it in with the boom pole uh, and it's got a tail patch cable so you can just uh, patch your uh, your xlr cable right through this 
and it runs to the there's another XLR cable uh, connected to the mic from inside uh, and uh, we've got the dead wombat also applied on the bl blimp so this avoids a lot of wind noises and uh, avoids wind sounds to seep through to the microphone so it's as simple as it sounds we've got the uh, screwing attachment over here on the blimp and we've got the shotgun uh, with the boom pole so we just uh, screw it in make it tight just rock and roll pretty much so just screw it in tight so as since it's tight and you know it's secured it won't move around a lot so and then you can uh, with these dials you can attach uh, we can adjust the height of the boom poles oh, like this um, so it's pretty useful uh, since you want to cover a lot of distance uh, distance with your boom pole you can cover a lot of distance with this uh, with the length of it and we've got the XLR cable over here as well so we just connect it in patch it to the zoom h6 and uh, you just keep it working so that's everything guys this is everything that we used on set uh, for the production of campfire on set uh, while filming so if you guys have any other questions related to the gear that we used or any other questions related to the on set do leave them down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys found this informative uh, if anything, do leave, if you have any other questions, do leave them in the comments and hope you guys have a great day.